Reportedly, the Detroit Pistons are not interested in, in trading Bojan Bogdanovic, not even for a first-round pick that you originally wanted from the L.A. Lakers. Mm-hmm. And how you feel about that? I think that's I think that's a mistake if you don't take that 2027 20, or 2029 20, first round from LA. No LeBron, no Anthony Davis. Well, probably not Anthony Davis, but for sure not LeBron at that point. Who do the Lakers have and with no picks, how do you rebuild? That's a team that's destined to be mediocre to bad for the next for the rest of the the decade after like probably this year and next year. So that that's one that I I'm upset about, but ultimately, I get it. There's a lot of pressure by the Pistons to win next year, to be in the play-in. And that's been stre- uh, that's been stressed by people like Zach Lowe, who have talked to people in Detroit, like national media pe- pen- pundits sorry, are saying it. Uh, people locally are saying it. There's a lot of pressure for the Pistons to win next year, and clearly this is a very flawed team being one of the worst teams in the league. So you need a guy like Bojan. But... I still think if the right price is there, you do it just because of the state the pisses are at. But I'm not. I'm not mad at keeping him. I'm not mad at keeping him at all. Yeah, I'm not mad at keeping him either. He he'll still be a hot commodity next year if, if things don't work out and you decide to move on from him. But what they're trying to do, they promised him that they'd bring some impact players in in free agency. You're gonna have Cade Cunning back, Cade Cunningham back, and he's more than likely gonna be better than ever because this is an injury he's been dealing with basically his whole life. So if you can give me a healthy Kate Cunningham, a Boyan Bogdanovich in there, maybe a Victor Wembanyama, and then you add what a piece or two in free agency, that's a team I could see making some making some noise in the Eastern Conference next season. Although it depends on if they're actually going to do it. Like I said, they they said that they would. I doubt they just lie to that man Boyan's face and say we're going to go after impact free agents. Then I'm signing. K Felder or somebody like that. You know, it's they're actually gonna get a piece. There are some pieces out there to be had, whether it be Kyle Kuzma, whether it be bringing back Christian Wood. We talked about bringing back a Chris Middleton, different things like that. There are gonna be pieces that are the Pistons will be able to attack in free agency. So it all depends on that. But for me, you need to get defense on this team. 